slice one avocado in half. Keep the other half away and can store it in the fridge. Scoop out the avocado and put it in a blender cup. Add between 1 to 2 cups of any milk of your choice. You can use less milk if you'd like it thicker or more milk if you want a thinner consistency. Then add 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. Note that this cocoa powder is unsweetened, so we're going to be adding about one and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. Seal up the blender cup and place it in the blender. Pour it out into a glass or a mason jar and enjoy. So this smoothie recipe is super convenient if you need a breakfast on the go or if you just need a quick snack, something that will fill you up and keep you satiated for a long time. So the avocado really adds two things to the smoothie. One is, from a macronutrient standpoint, it's a source of healthy fats. So that is that is one. And the second thing is, from a texture standpoint, avocados tend to make your smoothies very creamy. So it's a great addition if you're looking for that kind of texture in your smoothies. Now, uh, I use the cocoa powder to add that chocolate color and flavor. And the reason why I used maple syrup today was because... Uh, Cocoa powder on its own, and this one is an unsweetened one, has a very bitter taste, and avocados as well don't have much natural sweetness. So adding this little bit of maple syrup adds that tinge of sweetness to make that flavor a bit more palatable for the smoothie overall. And lastly, some optional ingredients you can add in that I didn't use in this recipe, but you can definitely add in if you need additional calories or uh, you want a more filling meal. You can add in a binder such as uh, rolled oats. You can add a couple of tablespoons of rolled oats in that adds some good carbohydrates as well uh, as a sense of uh, it adds some more density to the smoothie. And last but not least, if you need additional protein, so let's say for example you want to have this after a workout or you just need something that's higher in protein, you can add a scoop or two of a protein powder of your choice to the smoothie. So. Uh, adding the oats and the smoothies will balance things out and round things out from a macronutrient standpoint if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a simple formula or framework to follow to create endless smoothie recipes, you can get my free smoothie guide by clicking the link in the description box below. See you in the next video.